face there. All right, thank you. Okay, well, thank you everybody for taking a wellness break for yourself. Super important to do in life in general. I mean, one of the things that I've found is that I've kind of dove more so into meditation in these last few weeks for obvious reasons. And I believe that um, I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm grateful for the reminder um, to make time because I know that some people are busy, some aren't. Hello, Sherry, if you could do me a favor Hi. and just call, honey, that would be great. Thank you. Um, you know, some people have a lot more time on their hands right now, and actually some people don't. Um, so for me, I'm in the don't category, right? So um, the due to the situation, it has um, increased my work, I'd say probably about 40, 50%. Um, and I'm talking to other people in the same situation. Um, and then there's other people that are like at a loss. I had a call yesterday from somebody, a friend of mine who's completely not doing anything and uh, struggling with that. So I believe that um, this time has reminded me because I don't think we didn't know to um, that meditation was good for us or some kind of grounding form of self-care. Um, and so I've been doubling up on that. And ironically, in a time where I'm minimum 40 to 50, maybe even double doing what I was doing before, um, I found time. So I like that because, you know, a lot of, a lot of times we'll say, oh, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. But we always have time. It's our choices over the time. So if you've never meditated before, and this is your first time, I want you to know that anything goes. Don't feel concerned or worried about not being able to follow along with me. This is probably going to be one of your easiest forms of meditation because your participation is going to be um, depicted by you. You are, that's one of the great things. I mean, when I do a large uh, event, which I'm oh so dying to do, a big, powerful, I, I, do, I used to um, teach meditation at the Every Woman in the World conference for 10 years in a row. And man, that room just got bigger and bigger and such powerful, um, powerful juice in there um but you are um you know we can't hear you so if you want to chant along with me i will this time show you the words and kind of walk you through the words we'll do that and then you can chant with me if you like or you can just listen to what i'm saying and move along with me now when i teach meditation i always want to show where am I, where's my lung? Um, I use mala beads. Um, mala beads, you can, you can, this is a long string of mala, right? This is from India. And um, also there's all different mala beads, like I'll show you, a lot of people are very used to the mala bracelets. Um, so the wooden ones are more traditional. This is sandalwood, probably the most traditional. This is from India. And this is a wooden one from Bali. Both gorgeous, both have their own meaning. And then of course you can get crystal malas. I'm not, you know, if you're going to meditate, I'm not really fond of people meditating with fake crystals. I mean, if you're going to, you know, meditate, then do something that's got some great energy. So like, you know, this is red jasper and this is rose quartz and opulite. And if you want to know the meanings of the ones that I um, suggest, and I have some right now, if people want some, they can let me know. My, uh, my great gal pal that supplies these, we're just um, letting people purchase at wholesale price because considering what's going on. It's a nice thing to do. But you can also meditate with these. You're just going to have to go around your bracelet more times than I am going to be with 108 beads, right? So you'll be going around. It's kind of like for those of you that have a history of using rosary beads, um, you're just going to go one, you know, one bead at a time. And we say the mantra to one bead. So for example, if you are going to go ohm, and if you, and if you want to meditate after, um, not just today, but any day, the word Om, you've probably all heard of it. You know, people make joke, oh yeah, Om, right? You know, um, but Om, when you think of um, mantra or chanting, the difference between just meditation and chanting meditation is the chant has a lot of power and energy behind the words. Everything does intentionally, but a chant is more like a song. So when I'm doing the chant, it gets very rhythmic and all, almost like you're listening to a song which raises the vibration. And you know, you've all sung in the shower and don't tell me you haven't because you have. So <laughs> you've all sung um, or karaoke night or beer bong night or whatever. And you've all sung and your voice gets louder and it has an echoing sound. And that echoing sound like, oh, it's vibrational. And that vibration actually bounces off your spine and sends healing to your body, which is why chanting is so powerful. 
and kind of it's like a heal all so it doesn't really matter what you're showing up for today you may get healed in the area that you're intentionally looking to heal um, or you might have some side bonuses as well so that's why we pick the chant or the meditation for what we are wanting to work on because the words and the vibration of that chant will go into your body and like like energy likes energy it'll go to where it'll match that vibration ohm is a vibration for cure all my teacher from india used to say now i'm not saying it cures the you know one of the master diseases out there but she used to tell me that the ohm vibration would inoculate and match and out vibrate the can the the vibration of cancer every disease has a cancer so i'm not saying that it's going to cure cancer i'm not you know don't put me down as you know <laughs> i'm not making any claims medical claims here but chance have vibrations disease have vibrations and you want to vibrate higher than the disease so the disease does not um, attach itself to you and or um overpower so that's why everything i teach everything i wear everything i use and i wear i mean things that i put onto my body or take into my body have to have the highest vibration possible so that's a whole different other class. It's like vibrational medicine, but that's why everything is extremely important. Like, you know, candles and, you know, big chunks of crystals like this around my house to raise the vibration, you know? So anyways, if you come to the brain health lecture or anything like that, you'll hear me talk about products um, or supplements or things like lemon and water or whatever that raises the vibration versus the disease vibration. Kind of went off on a tangent. I, I believe when I go off on tangents, it's for somebody. Somebody needed to hear that. So if you've come and listened to Lakshmi before and you're like, she didn't say that before, it's like, well, someone needed to hear that. Um, I also, when I was doing my meditating um, before, um, got the message very strongly that someone needed to hear clearly what we're doing today in relationship to vibration because I'm going to just again, so it's Om Ram Shreem Maha Lakshmiya Swaha. Lakshmi is the Indian goddess, Sanskrit goddess of prosperity. And you may see her, she's always in gold and jeweled. And sometimes she has four hands because she's just bountiful. She's bountiful. You might see a bag of money. Um, she is the financial goddess, but also beauty, art, and love in abundance, in abundance. And what this mantra does is it removes the obstacles that allows that abundance to come to us. And I think that once we start to get conscious or self-aware, I don't like the word self-conscious because it just has a bad connotation to it, but if you think about the word self-conscious, oh, she's so self-conscious, that means she's conscious about herself. And society kind of puts that in a negative tone, but it is far from negative because if you know oneself, I mean, really, is that not the ultimate gig here? To know oneself? to love oneself and to be proud of oneself. So self-conscious, someone goes, oh, you're so self-conscious, just go, I've worked a lot of years to get there. <laughs> so um, this mantra removes the obstacles to what Lakshmi is trying to adorn you with. And so that you can live your dream and feed your dreams and serve yourself and serve others and whatever your Dharma is. Your Dharma is your passion. Obviously my Dharma is to serve. And so the more that I remove the obstacles that you know, gunk, I call it, the more I can receive, the more I can give, the more I can receive and back and forth and back and forth. Okay. Now, one of the things that came to me to share, and I don't know who this is for, or maybe it's for someone who's going to hear the recording. I don't know. But one of the big, when you are looking to remove obstacles to your success, particularly in the arenas of finance, which is a very big piece of your life. It is the piece that grounds you in a North American culture when you feel safe, is when you tend to be stable financially, um, then you need to be very cognitive of who you allow in your circle, who is impressioning on you, because you have this intention of moving forward in this area of your life, but if you don't have really authentically true, good um, circle of people that are like, we got you, here's you, we got you, we got you, go be bigger, go be bigger, go be bigger and continue to allow you to be a bigger person in your world, whatever that looks like, then it's, an, it's a battle, right? Because you're trying to break free from the obstacles that keep you from your highest level of success, prosperity, being out there, doing what you want to do, being good with yourself. And if you feel 
some people get uncomfortable with that and they don't even know it's on the subconscious level. They're like, Ooh, my friend's going off. She's like, she's moving on. They may tend to in a way that doesn't feel a hundred percent supportive and they could be doing it conscious or unconsciously. They're going to try to hold you back because if you move forward, that reflects to them how they're not. Now that was a message that I got to share with somebody this morning. So as you're moving towards your best version of yourself, if you notice that people are getting funky or they don't really want you to go there, or they're trying to bring you back into their web or the web that you used to weave, then you need to be cognitive of that, not judge, but keep moving forward, not judge. And it just allow people to be where they are and keep moving forward. So your circle may change as you continue to grow in your life. You you may have those lifetime friends. I've got some friends, a friend of mine has been in my life for 40 years and never once have we said to each other, oh man, you're, you're getting too big for your bitches, right? You know, I'm like, go, like, just go. And so be just conscious of that because everybody has a subconscious and a, and everybody has a consciousness and sometimes they don't know what they're doing. So really be careful of the circle that you're allowing in. Okay. That was for somebody. So what I want to do is we're going to do this, this, we're going to do this mantra. And if you have a string, you can do it with me. You can sing on your side. I'm just going to start. If your mind starts thinking about, I would say the grocery list don't, doesn't matter. doesn't matter. People think that, I mean, I've been meditating for, I don't know, 25 years or something like that, 30 years. And, um, sometimes I do too. I was doing my meditation this morning and all of a sudden I thought of something I had to do. So you just like, Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And then let that thought go as much as possible and come back in when you can come back in. There's no right or wrong to meditation and people are like, Oh, I can't do it. I'm like, what can't you do? They're like, I can't sit still for half an hour and not think of anything. I'm like, well, either can 90% of the planet, but if you got something, then you're great. And the more you do it, the better you get. It's kind of like ice skating, right? You're going to fall. Um, so don't worry how this goes. Don't worry if you thought about other things. Just when thoughts come up as quickly as you can, thank that thought for reminding you of whatever it is to need to remind you and then let it go. But if you get a vision, if you get a message, then that's cool. Like if you're like, oh, I really need to call my girlfriend. Well, that's because you're in a calm meditative state and the universe is giving you a message to call your girlfriend or I really need to go to this event or I need to. It could be messages or it could be your mind. And you'll know which one it is. So just trust that. So just get really comfortable. And we're going to be hanging out for, I don't know how, I never time how long this takes me to do. Um, and we're going to start. And if you have, uh, you know, if you don't have your beads with you yet, that's okay. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of you, Sherry. <laughs> They're in the mail. <laughs> um, if anyone wants some, just let me know. Just let me know. And they post as fast as they can. Um, okay. So we're going to start. Just be comfortable. Close your eyes sing along with me. Keep your eyes open if that feels safer to you. I tend to keep mine open when I'm teaching and closed when I'm receiving. Just kind of what I do. So we're going to start. Om Ram Shri Maha Lakshmi Swaha. 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 
Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. 
Om Ram Shri Mahalakshmi Aswaha. 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 And last one. Om Ram Shri Swaha Lakshmi Swaha. Feel free to keep your eyes closed as long as you feel like they want to. I'm going to leave you a few minutes here just to let that all resonate. If you feel like you need to take a deep breath, Can you give you another 10 or 15 or 20 seconds to just kind of come back into your body, take a breath, come back and join us when you're ready. You want to come back and open your eyes and come back into the world and we'll just turn the recording off but we'll keep the zoom going so it'll give you if you so choose time to share So, so as we come back into our body, we might feel if you haven't done meditation before, lightheaded. Um, if you participated verbally, um, you will, um, you might feel um, not tired, but a kind of like, like you've worked out a little bit. <laughs> um, each time when I do this uh, chanting, my voice will change, um, particularly when I do group, because some people are needing to resonate to deeper and higher and lower and what have you. So when you're doing it with yourself, don't, if you are doing it with yourself, don't worry about having to change the tonality. I just do that as I'm told to do that. Um, if you want to, when you do meditations like this or listen to meditations like this, sometimes if you keep a pen and paper beside you, after you come out of meditation, you might have a word or two. It's like when you do a really, really good massage treatment, you've been deep with yourself, you might come back and find epiphanies. Um, after you participate in meditation, it's important to just be with cool people because um, your energy field is very receptive. So you would just want to be in a good vibration, which is why crystals are good when you're meditating and candles candles diffuse even if you're there and i'm here candles will diffuse any kind of negative stuff that your body got rid of while you were listening to meditation and so um i'm just going to open it up is there anyone that wants to share their experience is there anyone that has any questions